few reminders to everyone. Spectators are not allowed in the court while the game is being played or shooting baskets at halftime. Food and beverages must be consumed in the cafeteria or lobby and not brought into the gymnasium. Smoking is prohibited anywhere on school grounds. Tonight, Northeastern is hosting the Blue Bombers from Lake Placid. And at this time, I'd like to introduce the Blue Bombers. Number 10, Ariel Redfrozy. Uh, let's see. Number 13, Christy. Andre. Okay. okay. Number 20, Christy Siegel. Number 23, Maggie Nicola. Well, look at that. Number 30, Courtney Burdick. Names I got out of the program are all Starting for the blue wrong. Bombers. Number 11, Brittany Barney. Brittany Barney is all right. Number 15, Juliet Barney. That's okay. Number 25, Emma Hanrahan. Hanrahan. <laughs> Number 22, Juliana Moore. Number 21, Lauren Winter. Oh, those are all okay. The Blue Bombers are coached by Frank Jones. For the Cougars, number one, Amanda Ravider. Number two, Cassia Perra. Number four, Katrina Gunn. Number five, Jordan Clark. Number 33, Danny Boris. Number 34, Megan Bashar. Starting for the Cougars. Number 25, Alex Boris. Number 22, Megan McCall. Number 24, Courtney Brooks. Number 11, Jelaine Rabideau. Number 13, Rachel Emporia. The Cougars are coached by Andrew Landry and Norm Bono. The officials for tonight's game are Mr. Al Rose and Mr. Tim Leary. Calvin Castine at Northeastern Clinton Central School. It's the 29th day of January 2007. It's the Lake Placid Blue Bombers and the Northeastern Clinton Central School Cougars are right here, right now on Hometown Cable. Megan McComb slides the ball over to Forey. Brooks over the back to McComb. 
Action underway in this chilly night in January, but Groundhog Day just around the corner. So we're all very optimistic despite the chilly weather. Shot from the corner is missed by Jaylene Rabideau, and we have a jump ball. Al Rose and Tim Leary are the officials. Lauren Winter will inbound it. We do have some names that were goofed up in the program and omitted in the program, I think. We'll have to uh, try to figure that out. We should have been more alert when they were introducing them to pick those up. We weren't anticipating any problems, however. But I should know that by now. That I always anticipate uh, the program to be wrong. Picks it up for the Cougars. The shot clock was off, but the Cougars already had the ball. A quick shot, two-pointer by Megan McComb. 6.50 showing here in the opening period. Blue Bombers into the forecourt. That's uh, Juliana Moore. McComb pushes it up for Brooks. Brooks hands it off to... Uh, Jaylene Rabideau, who says, uh, that was a pass, I wasn't really shooting it. And we have a timeout for the Bombers. We had uh, several of the Cougar games covered by the Cougar Sports Network, so I'm not sure how many times the cheerleaders have been here for the girls' games, but nice to see them here. Blue ball. Let's see, 22 more up to 21 winter. And stolen there. By the Cougars and Brooks with the basket. Eleven is Barney. Fifteen is Barney also. Two Barneys. One winter, one more. And the other one is Hanrahan. Stolen by Forey, taken back by Barney, and basket by Brittany Barney. 6-2. Bombers are on the scoreboard. McComb takes it to the hole. Nice move by Megan McComb. Going to have a foul on Brooks. Barney puts it to the floor, throws it up the sideline to the other Barney, who is uh, Juliet Barney. Goes with another steal, Brooks stops, traveled. No food or drink allowed in the gymnasium, so Mary Elizabeth Frankly, Frankie very diligently staying outside. With a, looks like a chocolate sundae out there, not sure what she's munching on. Winter hands off, shot goes up from Barney, rebounded by Rachel Corrier. Up from McComb, and Megan McComb with another basket, 10-2 Northeastern. 421 to go in the first quarter. There's a long shot. It's up and in by Brittany Barney. And now it's 10-4. Uh, Corrier over to McComb. Corrier throws it up, draws a foul. 
she'll shoot two. 401 on the clock. Basket's good. Let's see, had a couple subs come in. Let's see who's in there. We got Kessapero and Katrina Guerin in for the Cougars. Marnie with the ball. Finds uh, Hanrahan. And then it's white ball. 3.44. Showing in the opening period. Monday night. Perro goes to McComb for a three. Picked up, thrown up by Garen. Moore tied up with the ball to uh, to. Uh, Barney, you know, Moore with the ball again, tipped by Forey. Forey up for Garen, it's out of bounds. Moore to inbound it, 2.59 on the clock. I have Siegel in. Siegel will inbound it. Barney. Brittany Barney drives, throws it up, too strong, follows Siegel with a shot. Now Rachel Corrier pulls it down. Corrier keeps it, rolls it in, Rachel Corrier with a bucket. Johnny Ray Corrier is not suited up tonight. Not sure why she's in, if she's injured or what. She's over there on the bench. Seated next to Aaron Crump. Juliet shot is blocked by Corrier. Jordan Clark in for for McComb. Uh, Winter back in for Lake Placid. 14-4 the score. 202 shown here in the opening period. Too strong. Garen out to uh, Forey. Forey's shot is missed. Barney up to Barney. And now back to Barney. Thirteen is out there. That's uh, Christine Gaffney. Garen had it but lost it. Clark picks it up, gives it to Forey, and Forey lays it in. 16 for Cougars, 110 showing. Barney to Winter to Barney. Let's see, Gaffney. Is it to Juliet Barney? Shot is missed. And picked up by Winter. Winter throws it up, rolls the rim. Saved by Siegel. Now rebounded by Forey. 40 seconds to go. We're in the opening period. Perrow slides it over. 12 on the shot clock, a lot of time. Off the front of the rim. And put in by Katrina Garand off the rebound. Blue time, 13.6 seconds on the clock. 18-4 Cougars here in the first quarter. Winter will inbound it. 
And to Barney. Nine seconds. Stolen by Rachel Corrier. Dishes off. And laid in by Garen. As 20 to 4, Cougar lead after one here on the table. to start the second half. Winter into Barney. Now over to Siegel. Siegel lost her dribble. It's the ball to uh, Gaffney. Now back to Barney. Juliet Barney with a shot. It's good. And it's 20 to 6. Forey pushes it down to 4. For J. Lane Rabideau comes up short, rebounded by Winter. Here's Barney. Barney throws it up off the iron, and we have a foul. Brittany Barney will shoot. by Courtney Brooks. Pushes it up to McComb. McComb looks in the corner. Forey back. Cougars moving the ball around. McComb for three. Yes! Megan McComb right down the center of the twines. Make it 23 7 Cougars, 650 to go in the half. This is Siegel. Uh, loose ball picked up by Rachel Corrier. Corrier guarded by closely by Juliet uh, Barney. Cougars working the ball around. Back to Rachel Corrier for three. And she hits the three pointer. 26 to 7 Cougars, 615 showing here in the first half. Barney into the forecourt. Throws it up off the glass. Winter shot is blocked. Follows and puts it in. A nice second effort effort by Lauren Winters. Winter, one winter, not two. Rachel Corey shot is missed. Barney with the rebound. 551 remaining in the half. Barney double team slides it over to uh, Gaffney. Shot put up by Winter. Pulled down by McComb. McComb up for Brooks. Brooks got a little nudge from behind by uh, Siegel. 525 showing. Rabideau up for Forey, a bounce pass to Brooks, and Courtney Brooks with the basket. Five oh six. Twenty-eight 28-9 the score. Second quarter. Strong. Rebounded by uh, Bortnick. 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 
Lee. No foul. Look out. Okay. We got a sub coming in. We had a 23 on the Lake Blasted that's not listed in a book. So we hear him calling her Maggie. So we're looking at the JV roster and Maggie and Nicola was on the JV team. I don't think I saw her play tonight. So that's probably her right there. Garen up for uh, Danielle Boris, Megan Bashard, Danielle Boris, Amanda Rabideau in the game. Amanda, Amanda Rabideau with a shot. Carol's in the game. And Katrina Garen. Bashard with a long shot. Rebounded by uh, Enrahan. Rabideau stops. Farrell goes to Boris, turns and up. Nice move by Danielle Boris. Makes it 30 to 11, 255 showing in the first period. Hanrahan, bounce pass, shot uh, was blocked. Burdick with the shot. Stolen back by Barney. Moore puts it up and she is fouled by Garen. Moore shooting, shooting two. Second shot is good. It's a 30 to 12. And 235 showing in the half. Garand over to Rabidou. Bayshard back to Rabidou out front to Perro. Underneath Garand has it slapped away. Boris picks it up. Pushes it out to Amanda Rabidou. Pulls up for the jumper and drops it in. Nice shot by Amanda Rabidou. 20 point Cougar lead, 32 to 12 with 210 showing. Jump shot, pull up from the elbow by uh, Barney. And Bayshard comes out with it. Bayshard has it tapped back to her, looks ahead and finds Perro. Nice second effort there by Megan Bayshard and Kessa Perro drops it in for a 34 12 lead. Have a minute and 45 to go in the first half. Lake Placid at Northeastern Clinton on the 29th of January, 2007. And Rahan gives to Moore. Moore fakes, drives, pulls up for a short jumper. And a foul on Bayside. Boris on the high post as it's stripped away. Siegel misses the shot. Bayshard up for Perro. Back to Bayshard. And picked up and put in by Garen. 36 14, 50 points have been scored, 72% by Northeastern Clinton. Under a minute to go in the half. Turns, throws it up. And her hand with the rebound. A long shot put up by Moore. Perro with the rebound to Bayshard. Perro looks down the floor. Anticipation knocked loose by uh, Moore, but the Cougars get it back. 27 seconds to go in the half. Bayshard with a shot off the rim. And we're going to have a whole oh, jump ball called. 
Cougars turn on a jump ball. Rabideau will inbound it. 21.3 remaining in the half. Well, the Cougars look for the last shot. They should. And a comfortable 22-point lead. Rabideau puts it up. Rebounded by Guerin to Bayshard. Bayshard shot is blocked over to Boris. Four seconds. Perro has a no. The Boris to Rabideau. And to Rabideau, a two-pointer. And they get 38-14. At the half, she wanted to keep playing. She was so excited she didn't even hear that buzzer. 38-14 at the half here on Hometown Cable. Okay, Winter is going to inbound the ball. I'm going to pick up my tripod a little bit here. Don't go away. There we go. Into Barney in the second half is underway. Shot put up from 15 feet by Gaffney. It'll be Cougar ball. 38-14 as we start the second half. Forey to Corrier. To Brooks. Um, and uh, Jaylene Rabideau over to McComb. Back to Jaylene Rabideau. And total is stolen, but they have a foul on Rabideau. Brittany Barney brings it up. Taking her right out of her hands. By Courtney Brooks. McComb bounce pass underneath. And an easy one for Jaylene Rebidu. 40 to 14. Seven minutes to go in a third. Barney. Dishes off. Shot put up by Moore. It's good. Long two pointer by Juliana Moore. Not to be confused with. Julie Moore, who played at Westport uh, quite a while ago. Travel. Barney into the forecourt. Barney brings it up. Over to Gaffney. Moore puts it to the floor, guarded closely by Rachel Corrier. Now she's triple team. Juliet Barney hits 40 to 18. Welcome down to Brooks. Forey over to Rachel Corrier. And she hits a long shot. It's a three pointer. And it's 43 18. 556. Shown in the third period. Barney brings it up. Gaffney with the ball, puts it to the floor. Through the fingers of Juliet Barney, picked up by Alex Corey, and she lays it in. 45-18. Brittany Barney brings it up. I might as well try one of them three-pointers. A little long, a little off. So a little short, not long. If it's long, it would hit the backboard, but it's off the mark. Over to Rachel Corrier. Intended for McComb, batted back to Rachel Corrier. Before he drives, throws it up and in. Nice move by Alex Forey. That's 47 to 18, 455. Left in the third. Rachel Corrier, uh, uh, Clark. Brooks <laughs> to Alex Corey. <laughs> uh, that's what you call a no-look pass. 
49 to 18, 421 left in the third. Moore. Stolen by McComb, but it's called a jump ball. Alex Forey will inbound it. He gets it into Rachel Corrier. Garen. Garen Farrow picks it up in three seconds on the Cougars. Four minutes to go in the third. Bonnie into the fourth car. Picked up by Clark. Dribbles by, passes off. Shot falls in by Hanrahan. And it's 49 to 20. Here's 40 to Clark. No, it could have been a travel. Garen to 40. A shot is blocked by Barney. Hanrahan tries to go to, Rich, to Juliet Barney. Carroll's shot is short. And Brittany Barney will bring it into the forecourt. This time a three-point attempt. Rattles off the rim. She ties up Garen. Rachel Corrier will inbound it. 3-11 remaining. No, it's not. Blue, blue, blue will inbound it. Barney tipped by Forey. Now well, Juliet Barney will inbound. Gets it into Brittany Barney. Throws it up in the paint. It's good. But the JV and modified player is excited. Nice look, but the Forey shot falls off the rim. Juliet Barney will give it to Brittany Barney and she'll bring it into the forecourt. 49-22, 27-point Cougar lead, 2.42 to go in the third quarter. Siegel being bothered by Garen, the eighth grader. Barney fakes, drives, throws it up. Barney gets the rebound, has it knocked out of her hands, picked up by Hanrahan, who puts up a 15-footer. And Perro comes out with it. Bounces it up to Forey. Slides it over to Rachel Corrier. Nope. Rebounded by Juliet Barney. She gives it to Brittany Barney. We're approaching the two minute mark here in the third. Siegel on a high post. And her hand over to Juliet Barney who scores. Rachel Corrier throws it up. Stolen back by Garen. Bounces it to Rachel Corrier and she is fine. Rachel Corrier hits the first. Hits them both. 51-24, 133 remaining, third quarter. Barney drives, dishes off. Garen will chase it out of bounds. Siegel will inbound it, 13 on the shot clock. Into Barney. To uh, Nicola. Corey up for Corrier. Turns around, puts it up short. Garen out to Clark, out to Rachel Corrier. Turns, spins, and scores. Nice move by Rachel Corrier to make it 53 24. We're down to 44 seconds.
Barney drives the paint, throws it up off the glass. Nice strong move there by Brittany Barney. Up for Clark. Clark pulls up short and pulled back out by Forey. Carroll. Nice move by Casapero. Saw the opening and took advantage of it. We're down to 16 seconds now. In the third, 55 26 Cougars. Four seconds. Off the rim. Barney follows and banks it in. Nice move there by Brittany Barney. The rebound in the basket. team has been charged with one foul here in the second half. Al Rose and uh, Tim Leary letting them play here in a one-sided game. And as soon as I say that, we get the second foul on the Bombers. I think they only had one in the first half. Oh, Jalen Rabideau. This is the first. That's the second. And the Cougars have a 28 point lead. And the Bombers have 28 points. So the Cougars have scored 66 and two thirds of the points. A long shot rebounded by Barney. She can bank him in in that paint. 56 to 30. 727 left in the game. Garen misses the shot and follows, gets it back. Brooks to Alex Forey to Rachel Corrier off the rim. Well, Juliet Barney gives to Bridget Barney. Shot rebounded by Rachel Corrier. Throws it up for Garen. Garen finds Courtney Brooks. Nice move. Nice pass. 58 to 30. 637 left in the game. Garen with the ball. Up for Brooks. And Brooks lays another one in. Five Cougars up. Barney shot off the mark. Now it's picked up by Brooks. And she's called for traveling. Sixty thirty, the score. Air ball put in by the girl, I believe, is Maggie Nicola. Nicola. Rabadou to McComb. McComb dishes it off to Boris. Pushes it outside for Clark. Clark, nothing there. Back out to Amanda Rabadou. Tries to go inside to Boris. Off. Rim rebounded 
by Moore and Barney will bring it up. Five and a half to go in the game. Barney puts a shot up. Rebound taken by McComb. She goes to Bayshard, back to McComb. McComb down to Clark. Jordan Clark, shot is deflected. And Barney picks it up. And Clark tying up more. And Winter will inbound. With short. Rebound Boris. Home walks down the floor. Finds Bayshard. Bayshard throws it up and she's going to go to the charity stripe. Looks like somebody's mother is taking a picture. And Bayshard scores. 62-32. Barney. Shot it up and in by Juliet Barney. On the pass from Brittany Barney. McComb brings it up. Bayshard. Goes around. Blue ball. 423 left in the game. Count the basket. Brittany Barney. I think she could play on any team in the CBAC. Shot is missed, rebounded by Jordan Clark. 4-12 left in the game. Amanda Rabideau, short. Morris with the rebound. McComb passes underneath. And Bombers take it away. 62-36. Barney guarded by McComb. Fouls on Bayshard. First, second. Team fourth. Excuse me, it was on Boris, not Bayshard. Boris. There's Rabidou up for McComb. McComb says, well, I can't find anybody open, so I guess, guess I'll have to put it in. So she reluctantly scores. Make it 64 36. 100 points have been scored in tonight's game. And of course, 64% of them belong to Northeastern. Stolen by McComb. I'm out to get Perro in. And Bombers will put in uh, Siegel. 2.57 left in the game. Ball comes into Rabideau. Bayshard from 17 feet. Nope. Rebound Nicola. Nicola. Barney with the ball. Off the fingers of Siegel. Rabideau will bring it up. Blue ball. 227 left. Barney slowly into the forecourt. And she's fouled. <laughs> and 
Tiffany Barney hits them both. 64-38, 2.17 on the clock. Arrow brings it up. Arrow dishes it off. Boris tries to go to Rabideau. And finally picked up, controlled by Juliet Barney, who gives it to Brittany Barney. Another basket. Brittany Barney, an excellent ball player here for this Lake Placid team. Rabideau, blocked by Barney, pulled down by Siegel, and Barney will bring it up. Over to Nicoli, and Nicola scores. 64-43, a minute and a half to go. Farrell, over to Clark. Jordan Clark, nice move. 66-43. to 1-10 to go. January 29th, there's probably not too many uh, home games left for the Cougars. February, right around the corner. Ropes, I mean Barney, nope, Barney again, nope, too strong. And we have a jump ball. Bowers to Perro. Clark throws it up short. From the Bombers, 29 seconds to go. 66-43. Barney throws it up. Rebounded by Boris. Outlet to Bechard. Bechard lays it in. It's 68 to 43. 25-point game. 12 seconds. 10. Barney missed the shot. Clark with the ball. To Perro. Back to Clark. Off the rim and that'll do her. 68-43. Cougars by 25. Defeat the Lake Placid Blue Bombers. And that's the way it was. CBAC Varsity Girls Basketball, January 29th, 2007. Thanks for watching. And for those of you supporting viewers, supported local television, hometown cable. Win, lose or draw TV worth your support, hometown cable.